In Llewyn Rice's Cloud 9, Sarah Talbot, aged 37, defies the odds by overcoming a terminal brain cancer diagnosis, igniting a newfound zest for life. Her encounter with a charter pilot during a flight over New York slowly erodes his melancholic demeanor with her infectious joy. Their paths intertwine in the quaint surroundings of upstate New York, culminating in a profound romance on Elk Island, off Maine's coast, where Sarah seeks to mend her fractured family ties. At the heart of the narrative lies the inquiry into whether love alone can surmount life's trials, questioning its boundaries. The tale commences with the fateful meeting between Sarah and pilot Will Burke. Having recently emerged victorious from her battle with cancer, Sarah exudes an uncommon optimism, believing in endless possibilities. Her buoyancy influences those around her, including Will, who finds a glimmer of hope in her presence after years of inner turmoil. Both Sarah and Will harbor scars from their familial pasts. Sarah's upbringing on Elk Island estranged her from her father when she pursued a life beyond the island's confines. Her subsequent loss of her son, Mike, prompts a quest to reunite her shattered family, seeking forgiveness from her father and reconciliation with her estranged son. Conversely, Will grapples with his own demons. Once a successful Navy rescue operative, he resigned following the tragic death of his son, Fred, in a drowning accident. The trauma fractures his marriage and casts a shadow over his relationship with his daughter, Susan. Susan now resides primarily with her mother and stepfather, a relationship she deeply resents. Will grapples with uncertainty about how to support his daughter through this challenging transition. Their paths cross once more at a county fair after their initial encounter. The reunion feels significant, especially for Will, captivated by Sarah's radiant optimism. However, Sarah has her own agenda, she persuades Will to fly her to Elk Island, her childhood home, where she intends to reconnect with her son, Mike and mend fences with her father. Agreeing to Sarah's request, Will and Sarah embark on a journey to Elk Island, accompanied by Susan, who seeks refuge from her overbearing stepfather. Elk Island evokes nostalgia for Sarah, reigniting her affection for Will, reciprocated wholeheartedly. Susan finds solace in the island's tranquility and in Sarah's genuine warmth, a stark contrast to her own mother. Despite initial resistance, Mike begins to warm up to Will when a near-drowning incident showcases Will's Navy training, saving Mike's life. As the idyllic days pass, doubts creep into Sarah's mind, questioning the sustainability of their newfound happiness amidst looming tragedies. Lou Anne Rice, an acclaimed romance novelist, has penned over 30 novels, including works tailored for young adults. Her repertoire includes The Secret Language of Sisters, Last Kiss, Silver Bells, among others. Rice's literary endeavors have garnered film adaptations and stage productions, earning her numerous accolades, including an honorary doctorate from St. Joseph College in Connecticut, her primary residence. Beyond her literary pursuits, Rice is a staunch environmentalist and advocate for domestic violence victims, actively involved with the Safina Center, fostering interdisciplinary connections between artists and scientists to promote a deeper understanding of the natural world. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.